What's up, guys? Today, I want to talk about similar figures. So, um, similar figures are just figures that share. So, let's write similar figures. And they're, they're figures, they're shapes that share certain properties. So here's what they need. They need corresponding angles. So um, they uh, share. Uh, so they share the exact same angles. And. They share the same side length ratio. So I'm going to talk about what this means in a second. So let's take a look at two triangles. Let's say we have one that it has a side that's five, uh, five centimeters, one that's ten centimeters, and one that's um, twenty centimeters, and we have one that's much bigger twice as big. Well, in order to be similar, firstly, the angles need to be the same. So let's say this is um, 50 degrees. This needs to be 50 degrees, meaning this would need to be six. This could be 65. And this could be um, 65. That would work. So these need to be the same. And now the side lengths need to have the same ratio, which means that if this is five centimeters, so if this is five centimeters right here, and this is 10 and this is 20, and this is twice as big, this needs to be 10 centimeters, this needs to be 20 centimeters, and this needs to be 40 centimeters. Meaning that these two, even though they are different amounts, the ratio is the same. Meaning that five is half as big as 10 and 10. So these two, this is twice as big as this, and this is twice as big as that. You know, the ratios between side lengths are the same and the angles are the same. Now, let's take a look at some, uh, let's take a look at a figure and determine whether it's similar. So we have uh, some triangles. All right. So here we have a triangle, which is actually not right, but, um, and this, and these two figures. We have figure A and figure B. Okay, and figure B. Okay, so the side length here is 25, the side length here is 25, and the side length here is 40. The side length here is 24, the side length here is 15, and the side length here is 15 as well. So let's take a look if they share common ratios. Now, unfortunately, we do not know about angles. But what we can see is that these two are the same because they have the same figure. And these two are the same because they have the same figure. And then there's one different one. So that looks pretty good. These, have, these both have three here. And then these two are the same. So the angles look pretty good from what I can see. Now let's look at ratios. So we have two sides which are 25 and 25. This one has two sides that are 15 and 15. So this one should be 15 25ths smaller. So the ratio is 15 25ths smaller, which is the same as three over five. But does this apply to the entire thing? Um, well, let's take a look. We have 40. Let's multiply it by three, that's 120. And divide it by 5, it becomes 24. So this side length is 24. These two are similar. Now, let's take a look at something else I have. Um, let's take a look at this right here. It is a, tra it is a trapezoid. And this is 112 degrees. This is 112 degrees. This is 68 degrees. And this is 68 degrees. And this figure right here 
these two are similar. So, what we know is that if these two are similar and they're oriented the same way, then this will be the same as this. So, we know that these two are going to be congruent. So, this side, these angles are all going to be the same. Okay. So, now we know a little bit about similar, uh, similar figures. And you can actually use this if you don't know side lengths. You can use the fact that they're similar to um to assume sides so we have a triangle um that's one two and three and another one that's um two four and question mark and they're similar you know that you can use the ratio property that we have to say that question mark equals six because this is twice this this is twice this three twice three is six so that way you can tell um, and this can actually be used in trigonometry with sine and cosine as well, because you can apply that to similar triangles. All right, thank you.